Today I have ton more awesome jailbreak tweaks that compatible with iOS 13 to 13.5.1. For the first one here that I have got, it is a tweak that gonna add you additional control center. So for this one, it looks and similar to control center, but it gonna add into your multitasking, so it is much easier to access to some of the options. Now when I go to multitasking, and you can see we can get three button at the bottom here for the first one we can enable flashlight and for the middle one you can close all the application at one and for the third one you can jump into the camera immediately or you can just swipe up like that and you can get additional function right here so we have wi-fi bluetooth we have cellular data and you can even respring your device and then you can adjust the brightness from here and even the audio as well so you can adjust from here too and I'm gonna go back to my home screen and you can see we still have control center on the top now we're gonna go to the tweaks and configure some option you can go to configure spear and then we have appearance you can select um, your favorite one and then you can customize color element and you can customize pretty much all all of the button from here you can customize and change the color that you like for the next one here I think you may like it and what it does it gonna pin the message so you can pin just like iOS 14 and for this one it is completely free there are two choices that you can select from here so we have normal mode where you can just see um, just like iOS 14 when you pin the message to the top and we have compact style so you can select either one that you like and then I'm gonna go back to message and now I can swipe like that to pin or I can just swipe all the way to the right and then it's gonna automatically pin so you can pin as many messages as you want so and you can see here we have compact style where you can just swipe from here tap tap app is an awesome tweak that gives you a way to open the application much faster just double tap on the status bar and it does work anywhere on your home screen, on your lock screen, or even in the app. So you can just double tap on the status bar and then it's gonna open the app straight away. So now I'm standing on the app store where I can just double tap on the top here. And you can see it's gonna launch camera immediately. And you can change the specific application. So I'm gonna go back to settings. And what you need to do, you need to know the bundle ID. So if you don't know the bundle ID, you can just um, install bundle ID from the side here. So you can install this application. Then you can just copy the bundle ID by using this application. So it is much easier for you. Now I'm gonna try on Facebook where I can just click on here and then my bundle ID has just been copied. And now I can just go back to settings. Then you can paste the bundle ID here so you can replace with the old one. So I'm gonna replace it. So I'm gonna paste here. Now we are done. So just go back and hit on the double tap on the status bar. And now you can see Facebook is open straight away after I double tap on the status bar. Where it is a tweak that gives you a whole new way to customize your notification. And you can customize banner notification and even media player so it is pretty awesome so I'm gonna try on my lock screen so I can just go here and on the top you have two choices if you select on classics it's gonna divide into two different paths on your banner so on the top you're gonna get the name of your application and below that you're gonna get the detail of your notification you can also change the header color by enable this button and I'm, I'm gonna test it we also have indicator where you can select um, triangle dot on none so I'm gonna go to dot and then instead of the application you're gonna see the dot instead right here wiper is a brand new side tweak tool where you can have app drawer and you can customize your lock screen give a style on weather and time so for the app drawer you can just swipe from the bottom right then it's gonna bring up app drawer here so you can easily access to all of the application on your device and you may ask what about going back to the home screen you can just swipe back from the left here you can go to your home screen 
or you can just invoke from the right here it's gonna bring the app drawer so you can access to all of your application so it is much easier so i can just open like that and then we go to general customization and you can select and change the widget style too you can select here we have three different choices and we have light mode and then at the bottom we have dark mode and i'm gonna go to widgets and you can see we have a new widget here it looks pretty awesome and for me it looks similar to ios 14 if you take a closer look on it right here we have haptic buttons where you can just change the haptic feedback on when you adjust the volume you can give more haptic feedback to volume so you can select here we have light medium and heavy and for me heavy is the best for me so i select on heavy and now when you adjust the volume you're gonna feel more haptic feedback on it this one it is a tweak that i need the most what it does it is a simple tweak it's gonna remove the dark blur from siri so now when you invoke siri and you can see instead of the dark blur we have a um, light blur right here it looks pretty cool so far if you pay attention into my calendar application so if you pay attention on it you're gonna see the differences so this is the tweak called valentine it's gonna give the ios 14 calendar into ios 13 and where you can see here instead of the full day you can see the three big letter here so it is saturday stand for sat move on to auto tool you can select specific time to turn off Wi-Fi or Bluetooth so you can just slide the slider here and then after the specific time that you have just selected here Wi-Fi and Bluetooth will be turned off lastly move on to block text so you can change the title and the subtext below that but for me it doesn't work on the iPhone 8 and I hope it does work on your Touch ID device so if you have Touch ID devices you can change and try on your touch id and finally thank for watching i hope you like all of these tweaks and then i will catch you guys in the next one